Today is the 20th of July, 2022. This is how our main communication tower was from 2019. And that's the way it is today, as if the hurricane just came here. Uh, that's because Hubert Ingram with his smart self gave everything to the Jamaicans. So the Jamaicans got to decide whether to spend some money in the Bahamas or to suck it all in the Jamaican book. And as you can see right here, nothing is happening here since Hurricane Doreen. They haven't even fixed the glass. The glass is still broken. You can see the glass is still broken there. The roof is still leaking. And this is supposed to be our main telephone company in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Not Commonwealth of the Bahamas, but Abaco. And government's trying to figure why people can't get back to normal. If this thing is a multi-million dollar business, and they can't even fix the roof. That's the roof of Batelco, main business place, uh, and business where the workers used to hang in there, do all their work in here. And they can't afford a roof from a multi-million dollar business that was the cash cow, the only thing that was bringing money into the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And this is how they left us. That's because Hubert Ingram, with his intelligent self, hosted everything to the Jamaicans. So we, we ain't doing good in Abaco. Multi-million dollar business. The Jamaicans ain't sending a dollar back. All they left was some of them coconut on the trees. That's all we got left there in Batelco Yard. It's in my uh, view, it's what you call an international disgrace for the Bahamas and Bahamas Telecommunics Company, BTC. BTC every day. Uh, they can't even get a sign rebuilt after Hurricane Doreen. But this used to be the front entrance, as you could see on this day, almost two years after Hurricane Doreen, on July 20th, 20. 22. Um, the gate is up, they fenced it in, but these Jamaicans, just like most people don't give a hell about the Bahamas, or the Bahamians, they just want to use us as a stepping stool, and because of the bad decision of the ex-Prime Minister, Hubert Ingram, the Jamaican is controlling this company, and they ain't putting nothing back in. You imagine Front Street Marshaba. They can't even mow the yard. The yard uh, ain't being mowed since Hurricane Doreen. The dead trees in the back, just like the company. That's why Alive is, is renting a building and doing better. You imagine you have a building, um, you renting the building. These guys are renting a building at Maxwell's and the staff doesn't even have a toilet. How could you rent a building for your staff without a toilet? They got to go around to uh, the Maxwell area to go in the toilet. That's what the Jamaicans think about the staff. Look inside there, the mold and the mildew. Uh, I assume this used to be the generator room. Nothing is happening around here, man. It's a hog pen. This is the leader, this is the leader in, in, in communication in the Bahamas. But look at it. All busted up since the hurricane. They wouldn't spend a dollar, them Jamaicans. Look here. The whole, no, not a dollar. This is from 2019. No window, window, the door open. But the staff has, has to come to work in this garbage every day. This, this, is, this is what they got here to work with. Little generator there. I don't think this is even legal to put um, Bahama Power and Light inside here because it's an open ceiling. So if you got an open ceiling here, um, how could you put electricity inside that building? This is, a, this is where the staff used to operate from. I don't know where they operate, no, the car and the truck now because they can't go inside that building. That building should have mold and mildew in it by now. 
Uh, but this is the main uh, communication center in Abaco. Nobody even cares. Even the rich, the richness of this company wouldn't spend nothing back here. It's bust wide open. Everything is bust open uh, September 1st will be three years and then spend three dollars. Then spend three dollars in three years. I spent many days in that main office there going to pay my bills and uh, looking to buy new phones right inside there. But it's an open eyesore. Um, if but Telco can't fix their roof, how do y'all expect people but they ain't had no insurance and never had a million dollar company in their life to fix their roof? to come back to normalcy uh, when this big company can't even move the yard. They just fenced everybody in. And just a hurricane, Dorian left us. They just say, um, send the money to Jamaica. Uh, Y'all would do without a building. Just make sure get us back to some normalcy so we could collect uh, a little bit of money from these Bahamians because the leaders don't care. That's why they give it to the Jamaicans that they can't afford a simple roof. Uh, we built a tower. Everybody else around them has rebuilt, uh, but not Batelco. Batelco is richer than every child comes behind there. Every child, every child comes. The foreigners came and rebuilt that. Um, Island Pharmacy back there. Uh, Batelco cost them or the double story building because the tower here fell on the people building back there and they have already rebuilt but the company that caused all the damage with their falling debris off the tower not one single dollar not three dollars in three years this is what they think about Abaco all around they don't care. Kai's spending this time to let you know it's an international disgrace that the Bahamas government owns onto this company, but the Jamaicans decide whether to spend a dollar. And after three years, they're spending nothing because they don't care. Kai cares.